Hi guys, it's Kat. We are talking about different hacks for your room to help with organate, organization, what? Organization, keeping it clean, just like making it look bigger. Just, I don't know, anything to do with your room. I got some hacks for it today. Before you leave this video, make sure to click that to subscribe button so you never miss any more videos from me. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy, if you find it helpful and you think that somebody else would find it helpful, give it a big thumbs up. Now to get on to the different hacks for your bedroom. Try and find pieces that are cute and decorative, but also practical and functional. For example, I have this super pretty box from TJ's and I use it to store extra blankets, but then I also put my big bear on there and I think it looks super cute. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously we've all been told a million and one times that the first thing we should do when we wake up is make our bed. However, I found something on Pinterest that challenges this thought and I'll just read you what it says. So it says, don't make your bed a straight away. Leave your bed unmade for at least an hour to air your bedding out. It will reduce moisture and dehydrate any potential dust mites. Seems pretty legit, right? So maybe brush your teeth, do your makeup, eat some breakfast, and then come back to your room and make your bed. And I don't know, I thought this was kind of interesting. <laughs> I love having all white bedding. I could have a white comforter, white pillows. This white fuzzy blanket is from Ikea, I believe. And then what I do is for each season, I switch out the throw blankets and the throw pillows. This is a super inexpensive way to completely change up the look of your bed from season to season or holiday to holiday, whatever it is. And it's super fun. So definitely recommend this. <laughs> If you have under the bed space, I definitely recommend taking advantage of it for storage, but obviously you want it to be organized, especially if it's under your bed, you wanna be able to quickly get the stuff that's under there. So I use these plastic bins, super easy to store whatever you want, shoes, craft supplies, books, whatever it may be, and then you can just slide it under your bed and pull it out when you need it. And to go along with that, you probably don't want all your storage showing. So if you get a bed skirt, that's perfect to just drape over your bed and hide anything that is underneath there. It also gives a much more put together feel to your bed and of course your entire room because if your bed looks put together, your room looks put together. <laughs> So we all have those pieces of furniture that maybe got stained, they're a little dirty, but we still wanna use them or we just don't have the money to purchase a brand new one at the time. So something that you can do is just drape a nice throw blanket over there like I did to this little ottoman and it works perfectly. <laughs> I absolutely love this nightstand. However, it doesn't have any drawer space, which is a little frustrating. So what I did is I just picked up this little box from TJ's and I use it to store whatever I need next to my bed. Obviously, if you need more stuff, you can get a bigger box, but I thought this was a cool little hack. I really like having some sort of softer light right next to my bed that I can turn on when I'm on my phone before bed, because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I definitely go on my phone before bed, like I'm sure 99% of us do. But having a softer light on while I do this definitely helps to put me more in the sleepy mood. And this one that I have here is a natural Himalayan salt lamp. My mom got me this for my birthday. I'm pretty sure she got it from Home Goods, but you can get these from Amazon, TJ's, a ton of different places, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. <music> When decorating your walls, I recommend choosing a statement piece instead of covering the wall with a ton of different pictures and posters. So for example, you can see on this wall, the only thing that I have is this mirror, but I still feel like it fills the space very nicely. And especially if you have a smaller room, having less things on your walls is gonna make it feel less cluttered and in turn a lot bigger. <laughs> forget to give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe for more videos before you leave this video i love you so so much and i will see you in my next video bye